Yeah, there you go. Maybe I'll, maybe what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and I'll put this on the top, and I'll put it at an angle, and then I'll put the relief valve off to the side, such as this. Like I said, I'll go ahead and, and I'll probably order one from him. But, I mean, he's got them. They're on his they're on his site, and they're relatively cheap. For the time it took me to go and buy the material and to build it and everything, it wasn't worth my time. Uh, I didn't use the same material he did, uh, and. I'm sure he's got it down to a science at this point, so I'm going to just go ahead and uh, order one from him and put it on here. But uh, that's probably what I'll do. I'll just put this on the top. I would feel more comfortable being on the top, so that's what we'll go ahead and do. Um, again, we'll give this epoxy a couple of minutes to dry. It appears that it's uh, taken more than five minutes, so uh, that's okay. Uh, slower the better. So I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, Call it quits for now. I'm going to uh, let this thing dry for a few hours. I will come back. I'll have the top assembled. I'll have the fittings in the top, less the um, relief valve, because I don't want to drill any holes until I get it. Uh, and I'll probably have it assembled and hopefully hooked up to a cell and running by the time I get a chance to make another video. Uh, any questions, give me a yell. Uh, again, our website, www.thestingerjr.com dot com should be up in a few days uh, it won't be full blown but at least we'll get any inf the information that you need uh, you'll be able to put orders in for the stinger if you'd like uh, we're going to put uh, the metal plates that we use which are 18 gauge 304 stainless steel plates they're two inches by six inches and then we'll also have the plates that already have the arms on them they're all laser cut stainless uh, steel but we'll have them on our website in case you just want to use them for your own design uh, we will also have the sh heat shrink on there in four inch three inch and two inch um, all of that's forthcoming we'll have all that on there uh, any other parts that are required to for building these cells from the PVC to the fittings. We will have everything on there break, broke down with a price and um, hopefully we can help you out there. If you get some hard to find parts, I know some of them are hard to uh, find. Be safe and we will see you uh, next video. Thanks guys. Alright everybody, it's day two. We gave it overnight to dry. What I did is I put some epoxy in it this time along with the PVC cement so hopefully it'll hopefully it'll be enough to hold it in there. So let's go ahead and see if we can't make this thing work. So we're just going to take our two inch pipe now and slide it over top of it. Now in this one here, I'm just going to put the glue on the inside of the fitting. Actually I won't because I'm not going to be able to fit it in there. I'll just put it on the outside of the fitting. Don't be afraid to put some on there just so you don't want it to drip all over but make sure you have enough to cover it. Now I've already wiped this thing down with acetone. I just don't particularly care for that purple stuff. Acetone is the same thing so I've already done that. It's tight, but it fits. Remember, when you get it on, give it a quarter turn to make sure it seats. That's it. She's in there. It looks pretty good. It's pretty tight inside, but it's enough. Alright. Okay. I forbid we get PVC go on our desk. Okay, let me just go ahead and repeat this. Now, as, as you can tell, I don't ever plan on taking this bubbler apart. So if it doesn't work, it's going in the can. 
I got a lot of confidence. I don't know what my partner does. He's over here laughing at me. All right. All right. Remember, if you're not used to using PVC cement, you might want to use a pair of rubber gloves or something, because this stuff does burn when it gets on your skin. Okay. If you read the bottle with this PVC cement, you tell you you're supposed to put it on both surfaces. Sometimes I even do that. Just for video purposes, I'll do it. But if you weren't watching, I wouldn't be doing it. I assure you of that. Okay. And again, twisting as you put it on. Make sure it gets a good seat. I'm just wiping it off out of camera. It's, that's not that important. Okay. So that's it. Here we go. Now the only thing I got left to do is to put a sight glass on it. Hello there, everybody. It's Bones. Um, I just wanted to show you. I went ahead and installed the bubbler the other day. Well, actually, yesterday. Remember I was telling you in prior in one of the first videos, there's no reason I put, you know, I didn't put the sight glass all the way to the bottom. There's no reason to have it all the way to the bottom. If the water gets below this point right here, my bubbler's not doing what it's intended to do anyway. So there's very, you know, very short window of where I want that water level to be. I don't mind it being overfilled, but if it gets below this point here, like I said, it's really not doing what I wanted it to do anyway. So, um, that's the reason that I only put the sight glass that far. Um, there's no other reason. Uh, that's it. But um, that's it. That's it. The bubbler, with the exception of having the relief valve um, that I had ordered from install guys, um, it's it's ready to go. Um, I'm going to put it on the cell. Hopefully uh, Wednesday night we got another scheduled build for Wednesday night. Uh, to try and uh, keep up with the orders that we have for the stinger um, and I will try it then when we uh, when we build our cells before we ship them out we test them all we run them all for at least an hour just to make sure that the plates are clean make sure they're not gonna gum up on anybody make sure all of our fittings are tight so um, there's just something you might want to know in case you decide to order from us mm -hmm.